Hello everyone, it's July 1st, early in the morning, and today we're going to do a garden walk. Unlike previous garden tours, I'll try to save the commentary and just point out what's growing and move along. So that flower that you first saw, that is a flying saucer heirloom morning glory. So over here we have some wing bean. And this is um, a newer succulent bed with uh, succulents like mosaic aloe, and various types of either gasteria or harwathia. And that's a chrysula. We got some various calicuis. And uh, this plant, I forget what it is. Um, and then. Over this way, we have some nasturgeum, a brandywine, tomato, some sage, the sugar apple, some dill, another sugar apple over there, um, pomegranate, lemongrass, and um, blueberry plants are here. This is the sharp blue blueberry. And that's a sunshine blue blueberry. This is a kale. Um, I forget what strain this is. I think it's Vates kale. It's uh, I think a four-year-old tree, bush tree. I don't know what it is called now. It's a four-year-old plant now. So this is the original growth right here. Thornless blackberry. And then thorned blackberry. These are bearded iris. Over here we have succession early prolific straight neck squash and it's made its first one. It's ready to be harvested, otherwise it's gonna get too mature. Um, Asian eggplants, this came, the seeds came from Bob Mel's garden. We have one that's producing already. It's probably the Ping Tung variety. Rama Tulsi, bitter melon from Bob Mel's garden, and from Bob Mel's garden, okra. So we got uh, them popping out, and we should been thinning them out in a few days. Shantae melon, it's a cantaloupe. This is the Telegraph cucumber. There's a cucumber that's forming. Down below in front, the earth is being disturbed. They are soybean that's coming out. <clears throat> we have our little patch of Italian Roma tomatoes. Got some strawberry plants here. Another Shantae. Uh, melon plant, some Thai basil, the Siam queen, and some scallions in between our um, tomatoes, Italian parsley, um, this is a goji berry plant. We got a dragon fruit that's going up this pole here. Um, trumpet flower here is King Richard's uh, leek and it's making seeds for us now our patch of golden bantam corn planted too early in the year too cold so we're not gonna get good sized ears we have a reed avocado that's back here and some fava bean planted for nitrogen fixing we'll cut it off once it flowers drop it on the ground a moringa from bob mel's garden it got planted here as a windbreak for the reed avocado garlic chive forsythia this is a wild forsythia from china uh, the variety is from china uh, king mandarin orange we got two plants that are growing from seed. It's supposed to be a stable hybrid, so 
We should get oranges <clears throat> and some more uh, basil. We got daylily. This is Kwanzo and sedum. Let's swing around this way now. Some more daily daylily. This is the Marquee Moon. Its color is cream. Color it makes cream colored flowers. Purple fingerling Peruvian potatoes. They're, the plants are pretty big, so we're probably going to get pretty good sized potatoes. And tucked in there, sun's coming in this way, is a sugar baby watermelon. Cranberry hibiscus. Heritage raspberry. A pumpkin grown from, from seeds that were saved from a pumpkin that was bought from the store last year. Latham red raspberry some more Italian romas and they're starting to ripen so we got one that's ripened um, this is black carnation and uh, flowers are done we got a plumeria over there that was um, grown from a cutting our corn patch sowed a little bit later in the year we have a good size ear of corn developing and over here is the um, burpee triple crown xp corn and on the right is the golden bantam corn and inside it is a hopi watermelon plant we'll see how it grows in in the shade <clears throat> down in front here is perhaps a big max giant pumpkin and where'd it go here it is here's the pumpkin we'll see how big it gets and then this is red potatoes so they're being hilled right now and this is a volunteer red potato we missed it when we dug it out of the ground last year so it's growing in there Cinderella pumpkin and it's uh, growing um, sugar baby um, sugar pie pumpkin there's a Bangladeshi long eggplant that's back there I think it's three years old it's pretty neat gold nugget mandarin tree and then we have our, this is our ornamental corn. This is the um, Earth Tones corn. This is more of the um, straight neck squash. Mojito mint. Succession squash. That one is a dark star zucchini that was grown from seeds that were saved last year. Thompson's seedless grape. Some more Shantae melons. And this, these two right here in front are, let's see here, holy basil, I believe. Yep. Awesomeum teneform. Seeds came from the USDA seed, li uh, seed bank. Rainbow Plumeria Gladiolus in the back. This is never got never heard the pronunciation, so I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. Looks like Jarahadel. A Jarahadel pumpkin. And more uh Chante melon. In case you're wondering about all the plants, those the number of melon plants um it's if you're wondering if i like it or not i'm not entirely sure i'm trying to grow it and i had a hard time so i'm growing a bunch of plants moon and stars watermelon black beauty zucchini i got some zucchini that's there and next to it is a succession black 
beauty zucchini plant we have um, our peppers here this one is a jalapeno um, and then some Anaheim peppers with some uh, Utah Spanish Utah onions planted with them these are Fushimi peppers and our blood moral orange tree that over there is watermelon plants sugar baby and volunteer arugula good for coming out and foraging they self sow some more telegraph cucumbers the yellow mountain sweet watermelons here we have more peppers let's see which one is this one I think I lost the tag I think these are shishitos Hopi watermelon and some more basil from the USDA seed uh, suppository this is Awesomeum Africanum. So there's this one, that one, that one. That this one is a sugar baby watermelon right there. It's a Pakistan mulberry that's here. Dill's Atlantic giant pumpkin. Um Oh, pardon me, this is an orange glow. Watermelon, that's growing. And some more basil from the USDA seed suppository. This is Awesomeum Cratissimum. So, put that back. 11 verbena. This is a seed grown um, guava. And got a sugar baby here. Some ginger back that way. These are Moroccan mint. Here's a bearish lime tree. We got garlic chive growing on the edges of the lawn. Kind of a way to camouflage um, the garlic chive and also find room to grow them. This is our Klondike Striped Blue Ribbon Watermelon Patch. And neat thing about watermelons, they have really cool camouflage. So see if you can spot any watermelons in this frame. There's one there, and then there's one here. So let's go in for a closer look. Some Gerber daisies. Um, the backdrop is African daisy. We got some Maanji peppers here. Buds are starting to form. This is a tartan dahlia. Uh, another Maanji pepper. And then this one is a California Wonder bell pepper plant. It's all hidden in there now. This is a French um, heirloom bush bean. It's the it's, it's the um, Nickel Air Colbert. And it's got flowers on there, so it should make some beans for us. And then the other the other watermelon is right there. So here it is. It's really pretty pretty watermelon. If you like variegated things, well, watermelons are fun to grow for the cool designs that they have. And trimming back some of the stuff that's growing on the fence, we discovered another watermelon. So here's another one. And they like shade so we threw the some of the stuff that we grew back on the plant, on the root.
seed grown walnut tree. This is Derby Timothy Hay. It's making seeds. Here's the plant down here. These are grown to feed our pet rabbit. Rabbits need a lot of um, good Timothy Hay to stay healthy. So there's a uh, there's that clump, this clump, this clump, this clump. And come on over here, it's a little bit messy. We have our panache fig. They're starting to droop a little bit, so they're getting they're getting close to being ready for tasting. We've got quite a bit of fruit on it this year. And our painted hill corn. This is a different type of uh, cantaloupe. It's the Israeli heirloom cantaloupe. It's a Ha Ogin. I hope that pronounced that right. And this is a real work in progress over here. But I wanted to show you the Sweet Market More cucumber plant and see if there are any cucumbers on here. I don't see any. We've harvested a good number of cucumbers. Okay, coming back out, we have some Valencia oranges. These were grown from my late dad's tree, and we're going to use it as rootstock and try grafting. Moringa, mother of millions, succulent, some donkey tail, more agave. This is chive, and um, that's our backyard. We came from that way all the way this way and then now we're going this way. Down here we have some thyme and some Hawaiian papayas that we're growing from seed and we're already thinning out a bunch so we, we're going to try to grow two plants and hopefully um, we select the proper sex tree. This is a purple de oro. Uh, daylily, they make these little tiny purple flowers, red flame seedless grape, and we're training it up to grow on our patio. There's a lot of growth, but it's hard to see because it's on the top side. We can kind of get a hint as to how far it's grown by looking at the tendrils that are dropping. And in this pot, we have moon and stars. Watermelon, a ha ogin, dragon purple carrots. I'm gonna harvest these soon. This is a lalok plant, cardamom, turmeric, and a succulent pot, um, pomegranate. This is the Sangrinello Blood Orange. We have blood oranges that are forming. And it's, um, I guess my memory is not very good or something, but I don't remember it ever making fruit in July. So, or in June. It, it bloomed and it made some flowers. It's Eyelash Begonia. This is our other reed avocado. Maybe a fruit next year. Ginger, another wing bean, some large leaf basil. This is our other, and I guess this is our primary succulent planter with various types of succulents in here. But, um, oh, yeah, I guess we'll go, go down this way. This is a raspberry plant. Um, I always say raspberry, it's a blackberry. Our, this is going to be our aisle of heirloom tomatoes. This is the mortgage lifter. And over here is a black crim. Our black prince tomatoes are ripening. We already have some that we harvested already. So here it is. Let's see, Aunt Ruby's German Green. 
The tomato is lighter in color. This is a brandy wine. And this is a Cherokee purple. So we'll swing around the front and we'll see that our biggest brandy wine tomato is here. It's starting to ripen. And Spanish Utah onion, some bolting bok choy, red core chantonnay carrots, walla walla onion, and some various uh, bok choy that's here. And then we'll go and look at the planter that's here um, and see some okra. This is Steli okra, Hawaii number no. nine corn. The bok choy is under here. This is white Lisbon onion that we're seed saving. And this is our Black Prince tomato plant. We've got tomatoes that are ripened there. Some Chinese kale and more basil from the seed repository. This is American hoary basil. This is um, purple cowpea and this is a, a shallot that we're also seed saving. This is a zebrun shallot. We got another pumpkin from the market that's last year and some more watermelon plants that are growing. This is a red holy basil. This is the Krishna and, um, and that little patch there, Lantana, that's where we started, where we saw the flying saucer, Morning Glory. So that's pretty close to the conclusion of all the plants that are growing here. Um, we have some trees in the middle, and this is a yuzu, the fruit is ripening. I always skip and forget about the basil. Uh, not the basil, but the uh, bay leaf that's growing up that way. Um, and also, I always skip the pomegranate that's up that way, too. We have, but down below, we have uh, this is a Taraco blood orange. And then this is the Robertson navel orange and this year is making a lot of fruit and it's sustaining them so those are most of the plants that we've got growing on here and if you're interested in some of the plants like the watermelon the tomatoes and perhaps the pumpkins check for some of the series on this channel for more detail about how they're growing and such um, this was a quick walk but since we have a lot of plants it got to be a little bit longer so thanks for watching as always and I will see you in the next video